Hi, I'm Jennifer here with Handy Quilter Ambassador Angela Walters. And today we're working on the sit down long arm machine, the Handy Quilter Sweet 16. And Angela, what you've got to share with us today is an alternative to an all over stitch that most of us might not know. Exactly. You know, an all over design is just a design that goes all over the quilt, right? Pretty simple. But instead of just doing a basic meander, which is just a curvy line, I've brought a leaf design, which makes it a little bit fun, a little more different. And it's great for masculine quilts or maybe quilts that you want more of a landscape look to it. I love that it has a little bit of points in mm -hmm. the design, so different from the curves that we see from stippling. So how do we go about making this kind of design? Well, what's great about this design is it works well on any kind of machine, but these points that you were referencing are great for a sit down machine because it gives you a area that you can reposition your hands. Doing a curve, it's kind of hard to stop in that curve, so mm -hmm. you can stop at the point and then reposition your hands and move on. You can also combine this design with other designs, such as the pebbles and the leaves. So this is a very versatile design that I use a lot in my quilts. All right, so let's stitch it out and okay. see how it goes. So I'm gonna quilt this as an all over design in the background of the quilt, which happens to be this gray spot. And anytime you quilt any kind of meander, you're basically just quilting the shape and repeating it to fill the area in as consistently as possible. The one thing to remember is that you can echo around it. So if you get stuck to a point that you can't fill in, just echo around it a couple times and it'll be good. And for this quilt, the background you're considering to be the gray, the gray fabric. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, I guess you can't really see the whole quilt, but, but this even... area you could quilt it. Sure. So to quilt it, you're just gonna come out to a point and back. It's almost kind of like a pointy teardrop, which I know doesn't necessarily look exactly like a leaf, but I'm just going for the general overall look. Right, sometimes I get into more trouble if I'm trying to be too literal exactly. in getting a shape together. Exactly, and so here I've just echoed it. You can echo it as many times as you'd like, but when you're ready to add your next one, then I just add the next one going in a different direction. And then just continue echoing and, and quilting that shape. Filling in the area is in as consistently as possible. As you can see here, if you wanted to, you could just echo the one you've already quilted and continue adding. And you're always looking ahead to figure out where your next leaf is going to be. Exactly. I, I want to make sure that it's filled in as consistently as possible. And I'm also not grabbing onto the quilt top. I'm just using my hands flat and trying to push it as smoothly as possible. And remembering that on the sit down long arm machine, you've got a foot pedal so you can stop, mm -hmm. reposition your hands and continue on. Absolutely. Sometimes I think that's the hardest part to remember. You are in control of the gas pedal, so just, uh, ease off and exactly. give yourself a chance to reposition mm -hmm. and decide where you're going to go. Thanks for sharing the all over leaf design with us, Angela. I can't wait to try this on my next project.